Hello, and welcome to this ANSYS discovery tutorial on getting started with the Combine tool for geometry prep for simulation. The Combine tool has several uses and applications, including, but not limited to, merging bodies together, dividing bodies by cutting with other bodies or planes, creating intersections, curves at those intersections, or even imprinting bodies onto other bodies. The Combine tool has its own kind of workflow with more specific steps that are repeated each time. The first step is to select a target object that you will be cutting or merging into. In the second step, you simultaneously decide if you are cutting or merging and pick the object to be used for that cut or merge. If you merge, you are done, and if you cut, you have the option to delete any of the cut bodies. Let's see it in action. With Discovery open, please load the provided file, and you'll notice that we're in model mode at the bottom. You may be in Explore or Refine. Uh, you can change to Model Mode with these arrows, or you could set the default mode to Model under Settings, and Model is the preferred mode for geometry modifications. To turn on the Combine tool, you can go to the Design tab or click on the hex and go to the Modeling Triad in the Halo, and over in the bottom left is the Combine tool. Notice the keyboard shortcut is I for Intersection because C is already used for Circle. Once the Combine tool is open, you'll notice we have tool guides on the left and options on the right. Here you can see some of the options just mentioned, like making bodies or making curves. There are advanced options like remerging bodies back together after a cut and deletion happens, or not keeping the cutter object, extending intersections. So please take a look at some of these additional options, and you can get more help by pressing F1 or clicking the question mark in the upper right, and it'll give you more information on the combine tool. And we can go ahead and exit out of the overlay help whenever we're ready. On the left hand side, we have the tool guides and the tool guides for other tools like pull, move and fill are used as needed and sometimes might not be used at all. In the combine tool, the tool guides actually represent the steps of the tool. The first tool guide is to select a target. After that, we might select a cutter object or an object to merge. And if we perform a cut, we can remove the regions at the end. What's nice about these tool guides and steps is they automatically advance as we go. Let's take a look at doing a merge. For the first one, we'll make the target object this base plate at the bottom. Notice that when it becomes selected, it becomes a brighter color indicating that it's the target. Also notice that the tool guide has automatically changed. The active tool guide is the one that has the bright blue on it, and we can see that it's automatically switched to the second row and is in the cutter. The status message down at the bottom says click to select a cutter object, or you can press control to merge. So I can change modes simply by holding control. I could also click directly on this button, but for now I'm gonna hold control and click on this second object, just like I'm selecting two objects, and now they are merged together and they are both that bright blue color. I could continue to hold control and merge additional objects in, or if I'm done with this operation, I could go ahead and click in the space around the model and that will clear the target object and reset the tool back to the first tool guide. Next, let's do a cut. And let's do a right click and show all to show the object we'll use as a cutter. So we're gonna cut the pink object with this bluish purple object here. And so the target is going to be the thing we're gonna cut this support at the bottom. Now we could just go ahead and click directly on the object we'll use as a cutter. Notice that keep cutter is on so it won't get eliminated. Now right now it may be hard to see that something happened. So over on the left, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the cutter with this little icon in the tree. And here we can see a new edge has been created through here. That is a result of the cut. We now have a piece below and a piece above. Sometimes there may be additional pieces, but in this case, we could see if we expand the tree that two pieces have been created. Now in this last step, we have the option to remove any of these regions and I can go ahead and click to select. And now I've got this custom support. Those are the two basic operations of the combine tool cutting objects and merging objects, and this can be done with solid bodies or surface bodies, and also the cuts can be made with datum planes. But let's take a look at some more specific applications. We'll right click on our support and hide that from this context menu. Here, we have a series of bolts that are in the plate, but there are no holes. So let's use these bolts to cut holes into the plate. 
We'll go ahead and turn the combine tool back on and we'll make the target our plate. Now, because I've got multiple bolts here, I don't wanna click them one at a time. So I'm gonna drag a box from left to right, making sure that those bolts are the only objects in the box. It's okay if bodies. other faces are in the box because this tool only selects bodies. So we'll go ahead and let go. And here you can see that a bunch of cuts have been made. Here are these individual pieces. And just like selecting the multiple targets with a box select, we can select multiple regions to remove. And those have now been deleted. And if I go ahead and hide the fasteners in the tree, the holes are now there. And again, I can hit escape. And in this case, escape exited out of the tool which is good because we get a different behavior if we turn on the tool and select versus select and turn on the tool. For example, I'm in the neutral select tool. I have escaped out of combine and I'm going to pre-select one face on three touching bodies. So one face on each of those bodies and we'll turn on the combine tool. Here, they have automatically been merged together. Now, if they weren't touching, they wouldn't merge, but by simply selecting bodies, or at least a face on a body, and turning on the combine tool, it will attempt to merge those together, and these are now one body. Lastly, let's take a look at cutting multiple bodies at the same time. I'm going to escape out of the tool and select this face in the front, scroll to the face on the back and select that, and insert a datum plane between these two faces. What I would like to do is to cut one, two bodies with this plane. So I'm gonna turn on the combine tool and click on one of those bodies. Now I wanna select another body, sometimes that's done with control, but in this case, control is going to merge. So instead of doing that, I can click on this tool guide to reactivate it. And now if I go ahead and click on another body to cut, it is also a target body. However, once you click on one of these tool guides, it has a little border around it, and that's to indicate that that tool guide is locked meaning right now it's not going to automatically advance to the next tool guide, which is to select a cutter or a merge object. I have to do that manually. So I'll go ahead and click on the next tool guide for the cutter. And now I can select this plane that is cutting through both of these bodies. And we can see that it's gone ahead and cut both of them. But similarly, it has not advanced to the last step which is to remove a region. We are still in that cutter step in case I wanted to select some other cutters, but now if I'm ready to delete either of those pieces, I could manually move on to the last step, and now you can see I could hover over these bodies to delete them. Last but not least, we'll go ahead and cut everything down the middle. This is very common with symmetric designs. We could cut it down the middle and do a symmetric analysis or mirror it over. So I selected the x-axis and turned on the plane tool and it put a plane in perpendicular to it right at the origin. What I wanna do is cut all these bodies with a plane. Now, if I were to pre-select them, and I could do this with a box select, the combine tool will merge them all together and we don't wanna do that. So let's clear our selection by clicking in white space, turn on the combine tool, and now I could do a box select of these bodies and it won't merge them. It's only considered them all as targets. Here, I could go ahead and click on this datum plane, and now it's gone ahead and split everything together. And if I did happen to want to delete everything on one side, one useful way to do that is to orient your model perpendicular to the cut. And depending on what kind of geometry is right at the middle, you could do a box select from either left to right and just cross over that midplane. Uh, if you don't cross over the midplane with this option, it won't grab the bodies on the left. Or you could do a box select from right to left, and here it will uh, delete all the bodies the box touches. So you want to be just to the left of that datum plane. And now that's all been deleted and we could either mirror this over or do something with uh, this cut symmetry. So thank you for watching this getting started tutorial on the combined tool for geometry prep for simulation. Please take a look at additional getting started tutorials and advanced tutorials on combine.